Using the words veteran and junior hockey player in the same sentence may seem strange, but for 67's winger Lance Galbraith, they couldn't be more related. The 20-year-old winger is in his fifth year with the club, and he's seen his place in the dressing room come full circle. Well, when I was first, when I first came in, uh, you know, I was kind of the young kid learning, trying to, you know, be a 20-year-old, try to, you know, fit in with all the guys. You know, I was kind of immature when I first came in, and I knew I was always joking around where now as a 20-year-old, I got to be more of the, the guy that everyone looks to, the leadership guy, and, uh, you know, just try to keep everyone with the, their heads up high and just keep everything balanced in the dressing room. Being around the organization for so long, Galbraith has had good role models in the dressing room, guys he tries to emulate when dealing with the youngsters. My first year is probably the best example. I had guys to look up like Alan McCauley, Sean Blanchard, David Bell, you know, Steve Zork, guys that, uh, you know, are really, really good role models for me. And, you know, I know Mark Bell and Matt Zoltek and Dan Tetsu would say the same thing. So, uh, you know, it's good, and I just try to bring what they did in their 19, 20-year-old year, 20 year old years to what I'm doing now. Averaging more than a point a game this season, the forward is someone teammates look to as an example on and off the ice. Galbraith is quick to give credit to Coach Brian Kilway for giving him every opportunity to succeed. Killer has been great to me. He's gave me a chance, uh, you know, to be a player that I was when he drafted me. My first two years, I wasn't that great, but, you know, he... You can't say enough about Brian. He's such a, a great man. I have so much respect for him. And, you know, he, he'll be a lifelong friend for me. And, you know, you know the, when the times were tough, he held me out. And, you know, just uh, when St. John's, I was down in St. John's, he, he really uh, was like a, a friend right beside me, talked to him every day. So that showed me a lot. And, you know, I'm glad to be back in my fifth year playing for uh, Brian Kilray. Lance Galbraith has been through a lot in his five years here in Ottawa, but now he's experiencing something that he's not quite used to, trips to the training room. I don't like sitting games out. I've never sat games out, maybe only for suspensions, maybe, you know, one game I think last year I missed because I had a bad Charlie horse and I just couldn't do it anymore. But it's kind of stressing, you know, not knowing when you can get back in the lineup and hopefully, uh, you know, I'm skating this week and hopefully Friday I'll be aiming for it. Galbraith hopes he can accelerate his scheduled return so he can go back to what he does best and opposing coaches hate most, being a pest. I'd have to hope they say they hate me, hate to play against me, but love to have me on their team. But uh, that's the way I'd like to be, you know, come across from anyone that's uh, in a visiting team or anyone that, uh, you know, sees me play the game. But uh, that, if that's what they say, I'll, I'll, I'll be impressed with that. Lance raises tempers on the ice and raises his voice off of it. Teammates rank him as one of the loudest guys in the dressing room. A title Galbraith carries with some pride. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm always there to joke around, uh, you know, the loudest guy probably, and uh, always fooling around playing jokes on guys. But uh, when it comes to game time, you know, when we step in this rink Friday, I want everyone to be serious. And, you know, hopefully it's a, a result or a win. But, uh, you know, come practice time after a loss, I like to be the guy to keep the guys loose and, uh, you know, keep everyone with smiles on their face. We're not here for, you know, to be, be down all the time. We're here to, you know, have fun and play junior hockey. Being an overager, Lance knows he's playing for his hockey future, but he appears to have it all in perspective. The veteran knows that any personal glory will come from team success. You know, just bang and crash and, you know, get goals, get points, and just hopefully the team does well. That's the, that's the main goal in my eyes. As long as the team does well, you know, the, I always tell the younger guys, the further, you know, we go, the further, the, you know, the other guys aren't playing and the scouts are watching us, so... You know, if I can, if I, we can keep this team on track and keep playing, you know, pretty consistent as we were a couple of weeks ago. With the Memorial Cup ring and an illustrious junior career already, you would think Galbraith would be complacent. Listening to him holler at teammates or watching him streak down the ice makes it clear he's the furthest thing from board. He's having the time of his life. For OHL Primetime, I'm Adam Kaminsky.